Hey everybody, Sean here from BoardParacord.com and I want to talk to you about the traveling paracord idea. Um, basically what I'm doing is I've got 51 people, and this is going to be kind of an instructional guide on how to do this. Um, 51 people signed up and each person is going to do three inches of their own weave that they come up with. They're going to put their own color in here. Do whatever you want in that three inches. I do ask that you don't add any charms and you don't add any hex nuts we're just trying to keep or anything other than paracord i should say just trying to keep the weight down for people when they go to ship which shouldn't cost too much so i've got 29 feet of paracord that will be eventually tied into something and where are we at all right so the other end has a the other buck the, the, <laughs> the other side of the buckle so that when this is all done we can complete the circle um, so this is going to travel throughout the U.S. and I counted, I think, 32 different states that this is going to travel to. So when you get your cord, I put marks every three inches, and I don't know if you can see that or not. You should be able to. Um, but every three inches, I put a mark on here. So when you get your cord, you're going to start where the other person left off and go to that mark and stop. There's only enough paracord here for 51 people. So, with that being said, I have extra here from the original gold that I started this with. So what I need to do is I'm just going to cut these off real quick and singe, and singe the ends. And this is what you would have to do before you ship it out. Oh, and I just ran out of fluid. Try and do this by shaking it a little. I don't, I don't think that's going to work. Alright, well I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to add some fluid into my lighter there. And where's my smoothing tool? There it is. Oh, my phone's going crazy right now. Alright, let's get that smooth. Do this as if you were, you know, doing it to sell. Make it look nice. Because people are going to see this. And one thing I want to do... Oh, that does not look good. Well, there's the first mistake of the traveling paracord kind of melted that whole little section there. Um, so there's the first three inches. Now I do want to do the next three just so you can see how to get this started. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the center point of your paracord and only use enough paracord for you know three inches. So I've got about four feet. It's probably much more than I need. What you want to do is take the paracord over the top and the top is the side with the board paracord logo and you're just going to tie a knot behind it. Just a regular knot, like as if you were tying your shoes and it turned into a knot. And you want to keep that right up as far as you can get it. Just like that. Once you have that knot, you can go ahead and tie your your, uh, your weave. And you can use any, any uh, weave that you want to do. So I'm just going to do the basic Cobra again. And I picked Blood Diamonds because it's one of my favorite colors right now. And it looks good with the gold. So I think I think we'll be alright. So we're just going to do this. Now, this is going to the first person. Right today. I'm going to ship this out as soon as I'm done with this. And when it gets to the first person and you're com you complete your, your portion of it, you will need to email me boardparacord at gmail.com and I will give you the next person on the list. The reason I do this is because I don't want everybody's address to be out there. I, I'll, I'll just hold on to them until it's your turn. But you, like I said, you will need to contact me to get the next address on the list. It's boardparacord at gmail.com or you can find me on Facebook. That's fine too. Just look for Sean Matthews in the Paracord On Facebook group. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Paracord On. Real easy to find me. Alright, so I'm going to finish this up. And once this is done, it is going into the mail today. So hopefully, by middle of next week, we'll have our first picture 
Now, this also is something I wanted to go over. When you get this, you don't have to because I know it might be kind of hard for some people, but if you can, take a picture of this with the city sign where you live or where you made it or where it traveled and take a picture of it next to that sign kind of tells a story of where it's been that's kind of what I'm going for so and then post it and what we'll do is we'll try to keep all all of the pictures in one post so that you can scroll through it at the end of the year when it's all completed and it's kind of like a kind of tells a story so we'll try to keep all the posts into one single post. But there it is. Um, we got two down. I think there's 51 more sections on here. So I'm going to get this out. And uh, I'm really excited to see how this turns out. So good luck to everybody. If you have any questions, again, my email is boardparacord at gmail.com. Thanks, and paracord on.